Thanks, Tom. Yes, quite an ordeal for Quahog's Peter Griffin. So, Mr. Griffin, you were going around in circles for 12 hours. Are you suffering any ill effects from the centrifugal force? The wind on my skin is like knives. Oh my god, Bonnie, are you watching the news right now? Yes, I'm so sorry about Peter. Oh, I'm sure he'll be fine. But did you see that sweet new piece of ass, Dallas Portland? Oh, I don't know. Why don't you ask my index and middle finger? I thought this was a recovery day. No days off, bro. You know, this is a great house for a party. You can invite the whole class. I say, that's a brilliant idea. What the hell are you doing? Relax, these people are gone for a few more days. I'll invite everyone over and impress the whole class in one shot. That'll cover my play dates for a year. You really think that'll work? Absolutely. And when it does, I'll be as popular as the first kid in school to get his driver's license. Hey, heard you got your license. Maybe after school you could take me to get some groceries. Yeah, or maybe you and me hop in that car of yours and do some grocery shopping. Looks like you have a roomy back seat. I'd love to fill that with groceries after school. Hey, it's Stewie. All I know about cars is what my mom does. All right, if we want to get Cleveland back, we should just put out his favorite snack, an open can of tuna. Often he'll come running when he hears a can opening. Peter, stop. Yeah, I think it's time we address the elephant in the room. There's a simple reason Cleveland is hanging out with Jerome and not us. Jerome is black, and we're not. Yeah, I mean, you can't blame them. It's just a thing they have in common, something they can bond over. Well, I guess that makes sense. I suppose people do want to be with their own kind, like the audience at a Decemberists concert. Good evening, white guys who weigh less than their girlfriends. Hey, Brian, I, uh... I know that things have been awkward between us, but just to show you there's no hard feelings, can I buy you a drink? You know what? Sure. Thanks. What the hell happened? Ah! How do I walk? Are these forever? I also rubbed my butt on you while you were unconscious. I like to put stuff online. <laughs> All right, Peter, that's enough. It is time to get out of... What the hell? Oh, yeah, we put Joe in Stewie's old jolly jumper. You told me this was a paratrooper's harness. Shut up, baby man. That's it. This is our home, not some frat house for you and your friends. Now, I want you out of this attic now. No way. We ain't leaving. We're having too much fun up here. Quagmire just showed us his Eric McCormick impression. There could be no such thing. Well, that's what I said, but then he did it, and I was like, oh, all right, okay, yeah, kind of. Fine. You like the damn attic so much? Then enjoy the attic! Did... did she just lock us in here? It looks like it. Guys, spin me back. I didn't see what happened. Uh, out! What? Your ball was long. Are you me? That thing was in! You're gonna penalize us because you're a blind blue jacket Stewie, calm down. I will drop you to your knees and shove my racket so far down your throat you'll be my grip for a week! Warning, Mr. Griffin. Oh, you're warning me? I'm warning you! I'm gonna go to your house and your wife! You proud of yourself? Tennis club security guard? Your kids look up to you? Big man throwing out a baby and a dog. Tough guy. Maybe I'll see you later when you don't have that name tag on. I thought your shot was in. Oh, hey, pound it, dude. That African warlord is brutalizing those innocent people. Yeah, but it's okay, because he's wearing a large cowboy hat and follows everything with hamburger, like that stand-up comic from the 90s. We are going to force all these young boys to be child soldiers. Hamburger. <laughs> After 18 hours in the mines, we are going to check your butts for diamonds. Hamburger. <laughs> I get it. If you do not work on my rubber plantation, I will burn your tongues. Oh, my God. Hamburger. <laughs> ah, I found him. Alonzo Hamburger Jones. He made it to YouTube. Must be filthy rich. Hey, before you two leave, let's take a photo. Yeah, selfie. <laughs> I just learned that word. Perfect. Stewie, three more Arnold Palmers. Boy, we're destroying them at the right time, Brian. I don't have enough iced tea for the correct ratio. It'll be too lemonade -y. They'll be furious. All right, so let's do it. Let's take them out. 
I'll warn you, it's not going to be easy. They're incredibly intelligent and getting smarter by the minute. I designed them to be constantly adapting. It's done. I sprayed them with the hose. Ashley, wait! I wouldn't miss this for all the rush hour fares in Big Town. Chris, you came! Oh my god! Let me get my grandma. Chris? Ashley, I love you! Oh, you're groaning at me? You paid $19 to fly Spirit Air. You get what you get. Now your arm is broken and your baseball career is over. Not necessarily. What? What are you talking about? Well, for the last few weeks, since my right arm's been exhausted from pitching, my left arm's had to, uh, pick up the slack in the bathroom. <laughs> Dewey, you want to check out the go-kart I used in Days of Thunder? Yeah, listen, um, I just found out I'm actually going to be tall, so I'm no longer comfortable hanging out with someone whose teeth are bigger than their fingers. What? That's, that's barely true. Yeah, so see you later. You are making a big mistake, Stewie. Nobody walks away from Tiny Tom Cruise. Yeah, except for all three of your wives. Okay, I'm shutting this now. Okay, so bye. There you two are. Sit down and join us. I can't stay, Mom. Brian's showing me all of his favorite stuff to do. Getting spooked when the furnace goes on? We're participating in an autism walk. Looks like you're doing it right now. And we may be gone for a while, because after that, we're going down to the Civic Center. Michael Ian Black is cocking his eyebrows for four hours. <laughs> he says the things we don't care to say. Bye! Man, I'm sick of how much time Chris is spending with Brian. Probably smooching pickles, because they're a couple of pickle smooches. <clears throat> Oh, come on. I don't want to have to watch this. Yeah, that's right. I was the only one who didn't get to meet Biden. Uh, you know what? Screw this. I'm out of here. Hey, where do you think you're going? You're my dog. You're not going anywhere. Besides, I need you, boy. Now more than ever, I think my wife is cheating on me. Hey, Tori, it's Brian. I'm getting the Chinese food for us. I think I'm gonna order some me like bang ho. <laughs> that's, that's not a real thing. I'm talking about sex. All right, I'll be there in five. Chris, Chris Griffin. Griffin. Yay! <laughs> Yay! That's right, Chris Griffin, a tubby spaz with a heart full of dreams, gets to feel normal for a night thanks to the kindness of his peers. Oh. I just see him walking around with his hands down his pants all day, and he's just so fat and weird, so we feel bad. Yeah, last year we did the Burnt Up Kid, so this was a slam dunk. Oh my god, they just elected him out of pity, because they think he's mentally challenged. Kind of like we did with George W. Bush, huh? <laughs> right? <sighs> I, I guess, I guess, Brian, I, I, don't, I don't know. Let's, let's just watch some commercials. <laughs> 